prepared the topic for today's talk is leading as your authentic self. Authenticity is a word we hear a lot about these days. And in some ways it's become a bit of a buzzword, right? We hear about it a lot and it almost loses, it loses its meaning and its purpose. So today I want to get us clear on what we're talking about when we say authenticity. I have a quote from Brene Brown in terms of how she defines authenticity, which is, authenticity is the daily practice of letting go of who we think we're supposed to be and embracing who we are. I'm going to kick this off with a bit of a confession, which is that I struggle with authenticity. Not in the sense that I'm dishonest, or deceitful, or I don't have integrity, but I struggle with vulnerability, which is the key ingredient of authenticity. A great example of this was preparing for this talk today. I went into perfectionistic mode, and I wanted to give you guys a really good story. So my, my story was how I wasn't authentic when I started in business, then I became authentic, and the business was great. I shared this story with Tina last week, and she said, oh, Krista, where's you? There, there's nothing vulnerable about this. I took her criticism to heart, thought about it over the weekend, and really did a little bit of that, that introspective work. And what I realized when trying to prepare for this talk is that I was missing a key component of Brene Brown's definition, which is that authenticity is a daily practice. It's not a before and after. It's not a, a nice, neat process. It's a journey, it's messy, and it's something that we're consistently working on. To give a real example of what this looks like for me, <coughs> last year I gave a podcast interview where I shared my story for the first time. I was incredibly nervous about it, but I was proud once I did it, and I, I posted it on social media, and of course my, my mother ended up listening to it. And as, <laughs> as Sandy said, I'm Italian, I'm an only child, we're very enmeshed in my family. <laughs> and my mother's reaction was a little bit disappointing for me as um, she said, I, I don't know how you could talk about growing up with anxiety and depression. Like you were always the happiest person in the room. Like how could you say that? I was angry when she first said this to me, but underneath that anger was a feeling of shame and betrayal. Like I had betrayed my family by sharing my mess with the world. I'm gonna get back to that in a second. I also wanna emphasize though, is that I'm not blaming my mother. Yes, yeah, for all the moms in the room, I wanna make it very clear. I have freaking amazing parents. They are amazing parents who are also imperfect humans. And when I own this experience as my own, I'm also able to, to own every part of it and not tap dance around those things that might make my parents or anyone else uncomfortable or that might make me uncomfortable. Back to the mess. I'm sure most of you in here, I know I was taught growing up that we don't share our mess with the world. So as a result, we have qualities that are good right? We should be whatever we think we should be. Then the qualities that are bad, and we try to hide those away. Then we have that tape of that, med that, that inner critic that tells us we're not good enough. So as a result, we hide, we wear masks, and sometimes the best place to hide is in plain sight. As a leader, as a coach, as a business owner, as the strong friend, as the, the, the happy, bubbly person, because no one knows that you're hiding underneath. And that's why it's also so important that we check in with our strong friends. What I've discovered though, and what we're gonna be looking at today, is that as we go on this journey of authenticity, that's when real connection happens. That's when the, lead, when the leader of the team lets down their guard and they're vulnerable, that's what allows the team to see that they're human and allows them to be human as well. It also allows us, and for my businesswoman here, 
This is what allows you to connect with your clients and for them to really see who you are on a human level. So how do we do this? How do we do is what, what Brene Brown said, which is letting go of who we think we're supposed to be to embrace who we are. I have four C's, four C's that you can follow. First is clarity. Who are you? What do you stand for? What is that driving force that's pulling you forward? And typically that driving force is kind of scary <laughs> because what we really stand for, what we really value can often pull us outside of our comfort zones. I'll get to that in a second. But first, getting crystal clear what it is. What, do you, what makes you come alive? What do you value? Who are you? The second is courage. It's the courage to honor these things. And as I shared in my story, it's, it might make others uncomfortable. It might make others not, not like you. And it might be terrifying for you, but it's all about mustering that courage to say, hey, this is a daily practice. Some days I'm not gonna be as authentic, but other days I am, and being honest with yourself about it. Third is commitment, committing every day and taking tangible action to demonstrate this. This can be saying no to a client that's not in alignment with who you are, maybe dressing how you wanna dress, turning your boss down, those actions that you can be doing on a daily basis, commitment. Last is compassion. Because this whole process, as I said, it's messy. And having compassion for yourself when you fail, you fall, <laughs> and you make mistakes. To wrap this all up, you're about to, we're about to move into the workshop where I personally made those questions that you're gonna be going over, which are some good questions to get you thinking. I wanna leave, leave on this note. I know I'm talking about authenticity in that, okay, it's great as a leader benefits others, it's great as a business owner. But authenticity is also the greatest gift that you can give to yourself. I mean, beyond the impact you're making, beyond being a leader, what would being authentic do for you personally and your life? Thank you everyone. <laughs>